My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we're fixing this Bobcat Mini Excavator. This is a Bobcat E35. Got some new hoses for it. We're going to put these on. But before we get into it, let's explain what happened and uh, maybe a little bit why to prevent or how to prevent doing this. We'll catch you up to speed on the video, but right here we uh, have a hose that goes from that. Uh, well, we'll just show you on the other side. So here on the other side we got the same deal, and we have a cover that goes over top of here. We've got a hose that goes in, and you can see in there we've got a little nut and a hose. And what happened on this side, the shielded hose that's supposed to go here got hit by a rock and it got hit by a rock right here on the bottom here and when it hit that rock it bent the flange so this this is simply just a, a hydraulic line that goes from right here on this piston and then plugs it on that end and on that end on this hex frame on the machine I don't know what these are called we have one of these hoses and these hoses were actually relatively inexpensive from Bobcat one was 50 and the other one was 30 and this nut was like five bucks so we've got this nut on the end here and uh, that nut is what holds this in that flange. So this little tip just sticks out there and then that nut holds it in place. And then this line goes up and inside and plugs into our hydraulic line. So we're gonna run a new uh, hose in there. And what happened was when that rock hit it, it hit right here on this, um, this uh, threaded section and it bent it up. And so I went and had a, a new hose made at O'Reilly, it was 30 bucks. Uh, but the problem is when I screwed it on, I had to mangle the threads and bend it back into place and get it to go and the threads were just messed up you know under hundred dollars I can get new factory hoses all you know correct length and everything built the way it's supposed to be so we're going to install this new uh, back in its place Well, that's cool. My goodness. Come on, Bobcat. Look at all those things. All those caps and covers from the factory. So here's a pan that came off of here. And I'm a little bit disappointed in Bobcat. They need to learn how to clean up and uh, throw stuff in the garbage can. We got one of those caps there. And we've got a whole bunch down here. One, two, three. You know, just a handful of, handful of miscellaneous crap. Just, uh left underneath in the pan there during assembly but anyways back to our problem so here we got this hydraulic line pulled out and that just goes up into our um, hydraulic pump I assume I don't know but uh, we're just gonna unthread it from there we got our new one we'll uh, thread up in there and then we'll be able to rerun this back through uh, pretty good access down here I like this little port and these uh, these have little flanges so you just loosen three of the bolts take out this one and then the whole thing slides back a half an inch and drops down so super nice on the axis here so far and the maintenance
here's a look at that damage line. As you can see here, this head is kind of set on an angle. That head should be straight coming off. Um, this is what it should look like. You know, a little bit of looseness to it, but able to squarely screw on and able to uh, seal that. So obviously hit a rock right there where it's all scuffed up, hit a rock right there. And I well, actually I think that's from me taking it off. So hit a rock right here and bent it up. And then in doing so, you know, this only screws on a, a few threads on here. So in doing so, it actually bent this upwards. And uh, when I went and got the new O'Reilly hose made, trying to screw it back on, it wouldn't screw on because it, the threads were bent. So what I did is I threw, screwed on the O'Reilly one as far as I could until the kink was. And then I took a hammer and straightened it out as best I could, threaded it on the rest of the way. And that uh, held line pressure pretty good. It leaked a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, and then I, I just knew I needed to fix this right. So um, another reason why I needed to fix this O'Reilly one, you know, O'Reilly one's a pretty good deal, 30 bucks. But in just a few hours of running this, we've already got chunks of this line taken out uh, from running in the woods with the sticks and stuff. And uh, without having that protective cover that they come from factory, I just don't think it was going to hold up um, regardless. So I'm going to keep this as a spare. This will be a perfect spare. Uh, this end might be a little bit mangled because we did have to thread it into here. Um, but now we're good to go. And uh, taking off this nut that was on here was a pretty big task. You can see we trashed the threads pretty good. Um, but that actually is a pretty straight end on there. Um, probably could have uh, taken a tap and die set and, and ran a die over this and got it a little bit better. But, uh, you know, again, 30 bucks for one hose, 50 bucks for the other. Wasn't really a big a deal for me uh, to just go ahead and replace this. And it was a pretty easy job, uh, pretty easy access. I did elevate the machine up on railroad ties. As you can see here, and that uh, extra six or eight inches made a huge difference and be able, able to see up underneath there and be able to get underneath there. This front uh, backfill blade, it kind of hangs down low so it's hard to get underneath it. And I couldn't even really fit the um, oil catch tray underneath there. But once I elevated that, there was plenty of working room around a creeper under there. Worked perfect and uh, I felt really confident and wasn't going to give me any troubles or issues. So. New lines are in there. We got our little protective plate back on here, and uh, we're good to go. Go uh, put some more hours on this machine and uh, keep hammering it. Well, thanks for watching this Rifty Garage video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tagging along, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.